Hi everyone, Habibi here. Based on my recent tutorial, which is this one, rotating an object by click and dragging the screen, and also my another tutorial, my old tutorial, which is this one, how to add a virtual joystick in your Unity game. I've created this very simple uh, first person or third person controller. It looks like this. If you run the game, you will have this joystick. With this joystick, you can move your character. You can also modify the speed of the movement by going to the joystick. I'm sorry, by going to the character, which is cap capsule. You can uh, modify the speed. It is here. Here. Let's say you set it to 10. Now it moves. It moves faster. And the rotation controller, which is this one, my rotation touchpad. This is a, a touchpad basically. The touchpad is just a white blank image, and I set the opacity down to zero. With this touchpad, you can click and drag to rotate an object. In this case, the object that is rotating is a cube. This cube exactly this cube if you go to the game and click and rotate that and ro click and drag the screen you can rotate this cube I mentioned uh, I did a tutorial about this previously right before this video and this time let me rotate this player instead of this cube so let's stop the game here the touchpad instead instead the cube i'm going to use the capsule which is the player drag and drop it here and let's play the game now we have movement movement control controller and we also have rotation control like this So basically, this controller is useful for mobile games. But please note that I did not test it on a real mobile device. So I will test it and I will let you know if there is a problem. You can test it yourself and also let me know if there is a problem. If you need uh, an explanation how we use this system or controller oh yeah I, I uploaded the all of this folder all of these files that we use that I used here on a Google Drive I will add uh, the link to that Google Drive you can download it I will add the link on the description of this video later so here I'm going to demonstrate how you can use it. So you first you import the unit package that I up that I've uploaded. You import it here. You will have this. So let's say we are creating a new scene. Now there is a prefab here. Drag and drop it here. Now you have a canvas, all with joystick and touchpad let's create a plane as a ground set the position to zero scale it up a bit add a capsule for 
has a player like this here in the capsule collider you can change its property previously in my test scene let me just copy and paste the property of capsule collider so I'm going to copy this the property of this capsule collider copy component and go to our new scene and paste it here then we need a rigid body we need a rigid body we can also copy and paste the property from this capsule copy the rigid body ok I'm sorry you cannot see the menu copy the component this rigid body and paste it here okay basically you need to enable this to check this freeze rotation so the character will not fall fall down you need to check all of these three then uh, let's add any random object here like this okay and let's go to the canvas rotation touch pad here we need to set the reference to this capsule drag and drop it here now if you, if you uh, run the game you can rotate you cannot see the okay you cannot see it let me add some small object here let's say it is the head of the capsule so we can see how is it rotating or not okay let's rotate the capsule we cannot see it because we have this cube here yeah, sphere okay let's see it again we can rotate the character like this and to make a third person controller we need to attach this camera to this the, the capsule like this so basically camera is here for example now if you rotate the character like this you will see how it works let's uh, work on the joystick this is the joystick my joystick and we need to attach a script here which is this script my player we need to attach it to the capsule because it is the player so we need to s specify the speed for example 5 and we need to drag and drop the joystick here my joystick let's play the game rotate it around and let's try to move the character okay that's all and for your info the only difference between first person third person character is just it's just the position of this camera if you want to make a 
first person controller character you can just drag your mouse uh, your camera here and disable the mesh render of these objects your characters like this so now you are in now you are on first person mode or you can you can uh, put the camera outside the character like this so you will see the character from here this way the camera doesn't move only only the player is moving like this okay i hope this tutorial is useful and find the link in the description of this video you can download the files there thank you very much bye bye